Aries, welcome to your October 2023 reading and you may always stretch it as per your timelines, okay? Uh, because I don't know when the one is going to listen to this, okay? Because if the time fits you, you're going to reach to the reading or the reading is going to reach you. This is going to be for Aries. I am on Instagram as well and links are available and sending you love all the way from India, Bharat, Namaste. Let's start. There's one card out, okay? And there's going to be... Uh, basically jump from one place to the other place means in the situation basically uh, it's also sort of like the, and the most important thing that I heard right away was like there's going to be new season it's just not because the season is changing uh, winters are coming of course but because of the season okay your life is connected with certain kind of switching or change and that is connected with the new season in your life new season with new energies new season with new perspectives uh, new season of love new season of relationship transitions and changes okay so because i do readings as in heart readings uh, that those involve like uh, other connections or connections of new friendships or new things in life also to influence women so it goes as in like whole all right so it's a it's a bunch so your card is here which is eight of uh, pentacles you're going to learn something and you're going to shift to the next level that's your new season you're learning something you're polishing and you're about to complete something you're going to have the round figure here and then you're going to have like you know one to ten and you're going to shift something that you're going to be uh, content with something that you're going to be very confident with uh, and you're going to be successful in something here connected with your work or something connected with hierarchy or you know as in promotion or something the project is there and you, you, it's like a wind up is happening whatever is happening here is going to be the polished outcome polished product polished writing polished singing script anything that is connected with your work corporate sectors we're talking about anything that is here you're coming from a place yes this is also something that you are you, you started reorganizing th something from way and now you are in a position of recent or distant past of almost done okay you are reorganizing whatever was a mess from a long time you're doing it right in order okay thank you in order something is going to be in order so at work um, you are bringing things on your table and it's like you're being ordering and asking if you're in a higher position like you know bring this to me and that's what is here not just le you're learning something yes learning something about your own business own work own thing own uh, the the shelves you're learning something new about your kitchen if it's a professional kitchen you're learning something about that you might be the chef so just in case like for example if you are into corporate business of uh, share stocks or something like that stuff or uh, you know in printing or whatever that is your area this is mainly focused on that you are learning some things that you are hearing from the sources and you are reorganizing everything okay yes what you lost who gave you the wounds this is a betrayal either in at work or in relationship sectors the ones you thought they were good or you could trust them you figured out they left you nothing okay or they betrayed you so now you're doing the stuff you're pushing people energies away those are not meant for your future happiness this is your card I'm going to take it because they're saying to take it okay so in the present you're going to be with your real people real family real ones those are happy for you when you're successful you're getting success those are happy for you in your need okay those are there for you in your problematic or issue areas like if you're going through some struggle time or struggling time they're there okay they don't leave you here you learn you did learn some things about and now here you have full support from people you could tr you can trust this is also reorganizing your emotional life as well and this is about <coughs> being with the one 
where your heart belongs, where your home is. You are going to enjoy bliss time here because you are taking things in your hand here and you are done with almost all the stuff, like you are reaching to 10 pentacles. There is going to be, now first of all, maybe you are dealing with the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine but could be feminine. Because whenever I used to see this card, I felt as if like a feminine vibe, but it is king. Uh, but these are general, so this may be any. This, no matter even if you are an Aries, however you may be dealing or dealt with, or you're going to deal with, but you're going to be so structured, you're going to be so clear, you're going to be, yes, very clear, and you may be like eyes for some energies around you, like with what you say. You're going to stick with your words, you're going to very up, like you like here you know so I'm saying that like you're very clear no one can um, convince you for of course no one can manipulate you for something that is not right so here I see that however there's also in your family or someone you can trust so much is uh, either Libra Aquarius or Gemini okay there's also someone you're going to connect whether you are the masculine or the feminine listening there is someone you are going to connect as in like home wise it's a strong bond there may be a strength leo as well look at this aries you are an aries okay with the emperor you're holding on to the position with what you said you're going to stick with those words and your decisions and you're going to stay strong and this is also telling that you need to be and you're supposed to be very strong in the coming time about some things that you've said. So you're not going to not claim it. You're going to stay with that what you said. Okay? Even the promise. There's an apology coming. Someone can or they, they'll try to manipulate you or convince you getting emotional, you know, getting sympathy. But you're going to stay very firm. Okay, that's the better word. You're going to stay very firm with your decisions because of what you have learned about those energies or in the in this life about them or about your work or where went wrong. This is uh, one thing. Yes, someone who is possible younger than you. There is this energy. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or not necessarily though, but someone who may act as if like you know, uh, in order to manipulate you or convince you for something that you're not going to even shake a little like you know okay another thing is that there is either an apology coming or this may be some arrival this may be something that you are up for or this may be some offer coming from this person who may be Gemini Libra Aquarius or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces towards you okay I also feel that it's like whatever you've been through whatever you're coming from you're going to Live your life very light with your decisions, yes, being firm. This is the promise of love in the future as well coming. Like there is someone who might be coming to offer you or you and, and, and I'm sorry, and you are heading towards this emotional, um, uplifting, happy time with the happy family with the person. Okay, so where your heart belongs. Yes, some of you being for a very long time stayed single by a choice by choice okay and now you might be thinking about having this interesting conversation taking things ahead uh, you are interested because you can see some capacity in this um, this is also individually financial uh, growth at work you're very independent whether you're masculine or feminine but there's also some things that you are hearing and you're learning about your work aura and that's where those firm decisions. Another thing is some of you might be ready to embark on, on a new love journey. So if you've been single all your years, like for a very long time, your long time is your long time, but now you're entering in a new phase because you feel ready. It's, it shouldn't be forced, of course. So maybe you're feeling that, okay, I can go ahead with that. Uh, another thing is there is someone who does want to talk about a lot of stuff, okay? And I also get this energy, maybe some of you been dating and now proposal is coming, okay, for some of you. And you are thinking about, okay, hearing them out, there is someone you're going to have the conversation in the coming time about emotional talks, yes, but very, uh, but very much like firm about what you say, what you believe in, okay, now, yeah. 
that's what I can hear. In love. I'm not going to take them because there are so many. I'm going to take this particular card, which you have the top card is Nine of Cups. So this is where your heart belongs and this is the one and you have stopped. Okay. And you're manifesting and you've manifested the magician. Um, Someone's name might be starting, the initials might be with I, N or C, or someone's name is Ian or Ann, A N N, possible. Uh, but this is also about that things are going to go in your favor. Whatever and whichever situation is prevailing in your life right now, this could be relationship sector, this could be um, love's uh, work sector, but things are going to go in your favor. Okay, so whatever you decide, this is going to manifest properly long time no see is also here I can sense there's chemistry with certain someone that I can see like you're going to feel instant something instant connection if you want if you're going in some are already in relationships so may not resonate with all of you but some who are going into that like there's a new face and you have new love so yes Aries new love shall bloom stop I have to talk to you <laughs> a new person has stirred your romantic feelings you're going to spend some time like in a retreat then there's also one card in here as a retreat nope what is in love and romance Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You people are going to enjoy this time. Okay, because you're firm with your decisions, whether those are personal or work stuff. You're going to release your ex. Now this means ex. This means past tensions fluctuations those may be playing negative role in having uh, changes in your current situation uh, not believing letting go of those people there are documents involved regarding uh, maybe it's not romantic it's something else in the picture of like work situations and there are documents connected with that but you are also the time has come to play your energy which means that you're releasing relationship sector situations and you're ready like after a long time you're heading towards something beautiful yes with the side but that, that that won't affect it won't affect your decision because you're supposed to be and you you deserve to be in this phase where you are heading okay there is some energies who love who would love to get to know you and they're very attentive and this is this is where you can relax there's a relaxation mode and this person doesn't like get distracted with someone else's presence. I mean, I love energies who are like very focused in what they want, not even just in work, but also like connected with someone specific. And even if there is someone else standing, so you're going to be very polite, but that doesn't mean that you're going to have romantic interest in them. Like if you're focused on me, you're going to be focused. Like for me, it's like when I'm focused, I'm focused. It's not like, you know, the distraction goes here and there and there. So you need that. Of course, if they are giving you everything, then why you need that? Yes, that is a different thing. The betrayal is happening and then all the healing process, you come out of that. And that's a different thing. A whole new chapter shall begin. But yes, so take care and I hope this is going to help you. Take care. Bye.